All right, so we've got to talk about the Esther reaction that is happening in some sections of the community. Because if you don't know what I'm talking about, there are some people that are commenting on videos saying things like Alstoria is dead on arrival or that the water meta won't happen. And frankly, these takes are ridiculous. And I'm going to tell you why. By the way, don't take this personally if you had one of these takes. I'm having fun with the title of this video and you're going to see what I mean in just a second. So the plan is to, to go over some past examples of where units were prematurely ridden off and what actually happened. Example number one, Terra. Come on guys, this literally just happened. People were against pulling Terra and that was even myself included to a, to a certain extent. I still thought that she was going to be a really great unit. Uh, I was just a little bit worried about the water meta as well. And the water meta is still coming, but I think two points have been proven by now. One, Terra has been shown to be a competitive unit that has a place right now and will have a place in the future. And two, a unit's counter element being present does not cancel the unit. Example number two is Satya. Now with Terra, I could appreciate that she was coming out on the exact same banner as Celis. But with Satya, she came out two months ago. That's two whole months of Satya proving that she can be accurate. When I do beat teams with Celis, Satya is actually pretty useful in taking her down. So again, Alstoria is going to change things, but we've proven that these units can coexist. There's going to be ways for you to use them in a variety of content. Uh, and it's not a reason to not pull a unit. Okay, this one's a little bit funny. Example number three, Cloud. When UR Zazan was announced, a lot of people said, well, Cloud's gonna be totally invalid now. Like this is a UR 100 cost Earth unit. He's just gonna stomp on Cloud. And look how that turned out. Because Cloud has been effective against a ton of different teams, including Earth Evasion, mostly because his power is just incredible but he also has a 100% hit attack that is an AoE because he can hit through the smaller HP pools of evasion units even earth ones. Example number four is more and this one's not as compelling as all of the other examples because I don't think more is on the same level as cloud but she's a really great unit and a lot of people were commenting that she was basically time gated of how long she would be useful for because you know cloud was coming out in, in like two or three weeks and and that was it she was going to be just her live would be short reigned and uh that was not the case right there yes there was a bit of a, a time where lightning was prevalent but more still saw some play she was an excellent uh helena counter and then now she's a good light counter uh both because of her high spirit but also because of her 100 percent hit attack so uh, i really think that uh people undervalued her purely because of her element and i think a lot of people in the comment section will back me up here all right, this one's more for nostalgia, but example number five is Eldira. And I remember players being down on Eldira because of, oh man, who was it? There was some lightning FFT unit or something. I don't remember what his name was. It's been so long. Anyway, I pulled Eldira on my very first 10 shot and she led me to the longest guild battle dominance in Mysidian history. So, uh, yeah, she did fine. And now we're back in the present and we have Celes and soon Alstoria being threatened by Esther. And I'm going to tell you right now that even if Esther is amazing at dealing with both of them, they will be fine because players are going to find uses for them in all types of content, all sorts of game modes, and their viability is going to continue into the future. So, I mean, this is if Esther's even that good at dealing with them, which we don't know yet because we actually have not seen her kit. Alstoria, after buffs, is gonna be effectively sitting at 47 slash resist. And that's before you put any gear on, any VCs or any espers. So he will be pretty bulky. He's got good HP and he's, he's just got good stats in general. He can break barriers. He can reduce defense. So even against Esther, He'll hit like a truck, and I know that there's an elemental disadvantage, but I wouldn't be surprised that he could get the jump on her in certain situations, especially because he also has courage, and he has two applications of it. So, I mean, we're going to see soon enough, and 
All I'm saying is don't get swept up in the news. Uh, wait for Esther's kit to come out before you make your judgment on Alstoria. And even if her kit is that good, don't worry, he's going to be just fine. I promise. And that's going to be it for this one. So let me know what you think. If you agree, if you disagree, if you think that they're just dead in the water. I mean, I had to do that one. Uh, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I appreciate you checking out the video. Uh, and if you want to support the channel, be sure to just like uh, subscribe and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.